Bob Marley said, "Herb is the healing of the nation," and I don't disagree. I'm I'm trying to get in on it, man. I'm <laughs> I'm trying to start my own marijuana brand. <laughs> so you're all for it, all 420. I'm all for anything in moderation. Being a, a West Indian heritage, legalize it would be a popular Peter Sash song. So I get that in many aspects. But once again, you know, everything has to be done responsibly because there's been more addiction to nicotine, more people damaged by alcohol than actually and exactly alcohol and cigarettes than actually weed. So I don't really feel like it's an issue where it's about the safety of the people. Of course, certain people don't need to be utilizing it at certain ages because they might not be responsible enough and it's not helping them on that level. But at the end of the day, you know, it's way less harmful, in my opinion, than cigarettes or alcohol. Legalize it, you're gonna see a lot of things get better, I, I'd say. Uh, Medicaid. Medi <laughs> Medicaid, yeah, it's Medicaid. Medicaid. Yeah, and I would say really mainly it's a, it's a thing good for financial reasons to help our communities and stuff like that. If they put it to a good use, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of benefits from it. The CBDs that they're finding right now and cannabinoids and stuff like that are starting to cure a lot of the you know, ailments that, that children <laughs> have, like autism and things like that. So they're taking out the get high pr uh, properties in it and they're giving it to children now and helping them. And so wow. the cannabis research that we're doing right now is making leaps and bounds. So it's He's a medicine, man. Know. You guys stay, stay into the medicine, bro. I think it should be legal everywhere, man. I mean, it ain't really, they don't do nothing to you, but make you go to sleep, so whatever. Or make dope music. Yeah, make it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about you, Pat? We should be legalized it should, it should have been legalized. You know that. I mean, we all know uh, cigarettes are more addictive, so come on. Yeah. Yeah, you can ban cigarettes. Everywhere. Everywhere in the United States? Everywhere. Who's the next state that it should be legal? Should New legal Orleans or Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Paris, what do you think? About what should be legal? Yeah, should, I think we, legal, clubs? should we legalize everywhere? I think, you know, if some people need it. There's people who need it for medical reasons that they should be able to get it no matter where they live. Mac? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it should be legalized tomorrow, everywhere. I think it should be legalized. Even though I don't smoke, I think it should be legalized just because, I mean, the studies show what its effects are. That, you know, it's not any worse than anything else. It's safer than alcohol. It's safer than things cigarettes. that are legal. It's definitely safer than cigarettes. And as long, you know, and plus you might as well Take that off the streets, get people safer, get taxed off it, they'll bring money back to the government. Why would you not? It makes no sense not to to me. No sense at all. And that's me, and I don't even smoke. It's just a matter of time. It will happen, and it's, uh, it's kind of a lot of momentum heading in that direction. And you know, a couple of years from now, it'll so. be a different story. Yeah. I think the big debate now is like, you know, people want to use it for recreational uses, but people really need it for medicine. Do you feel well, it has both? Well, absolutely, it has both. and. Uh, it should be recognized for what it really is, a medicine. You can never really understand why cigarettes, which kill so many people every year, but... And alcohol. And alcohol. Um, and we do, it just doesn't really make that much sense. It makes artists make it dope doesn't, music. Yeah, <laughs> I, you know, I don't, I don't think it should be, you know, a, a kid thing or anybody underage or whatever should have anything that they, they, they don't understand, okay. you know. Regulated. Yeah, it should regulate it, but... When you look at it just based on that, like it just doesn't make that much sense. Let me talk to you about what women go through once a month and why needed weed is so necessary. Let's do it. That's the reason right there. I'm just saying. As simple as that. Just saying. Um, Sometimes you're in pain. And you need a little something. A, a little something. You can ask my brother, he's a little high right now. Think about it, weed doesn't kill anybody. Cigarettes kill people. It doesn't. And you know what's so funny people. is. We're in the matrix, and you know there's a lot of bigger things to worry about. You know what, man? I, I'm drug free right now. I, 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 hey, I don't know what marijuana does. I know when I smoked it, it made me high, and I was I was hungry, and I don't know anything about medicinal <laughs> or whatever. So I, I've been drug free for 19 years. So I don't know, man. I, I don't have anything to do with any of it. I just drink water and keep it. I'm, that's why I'm still living, man. Looking back, I crashed. I, I crashed and burned when I was young. Ended up on the streets, and I'm back making number one records. I ain't trying to do nothing. Y'all can keep your weeds, you can keep your deeds, you can keep anything that's got anything to do with drugs. I don't want none of it. <laughs>